Hello, welcome pen friends. I'm excited to be here today because I want to talk to you about September 2019, even though we're just, as I tape this, as I film it, it's August 10th. So there's three more weeks until we arrive in September 2019. But I'm working on a little project because I want to participate again in 30 inks 30 days like last year. And those of you who've uh, followed me since then know that this is going to be an anniversary. It's going to be a whole year since I started doing ink reviews, you know. And when I first started, well, it, that would, you know, I'm not sure you could call it an ink review. But if you remember, I, I worked in my ink um, journal in the Rodeo Gold book and I chose my inks ahead of time and everything and I decided I was going to do this. But I knew that challenges were hard so I... I decided to make it sort of accountable by sharing here on my channel. I'd already started doing a few reviews and things like that. So I'm doing that again this year and I want to talk to you about, I've already chosen my inks. So here we are, we're August 10th and we've got three weeks. So anyone who um, wants to do this, because it, it was Ink Journal, it is Ink Journal that um, instigates these things, you know, and, and they do it on Instagram and it's so cool. And we had so much fun last year. That would give you three weeks if you're thinking about it too. At least by my yeah, it would give a solid three weeks. And then it would kick off on Sunday, the 1st of September. So it's going to be a little messy at first. I'm going to show you my notebook. What I did was make a page in my um, process notebook that is messy. And I started looking at what I haven't covered yet, what I haven't really gotten into. And really, it, um, I left a space here because I just got my new ink flight in and toward the end of the video I'm going to show you what was in that ink flight and what the colors were and I've got them all swatched onto a panel. But first I just wanted to real quick show you I've picked my 30 inks. The first uh, seven will be the Sailor inks from Ink Flight 29 and then the next eight will be the Straits Pen Honest ink. There's uh, eight of those and in just a minute I'll show you those the panels. And then the Colorverse um, will, be the, will be next. I kind of did them in the order that Ink Journal has them on the little slips because that takes away my uh, hemming and hawing about which one is next. It's hard for me to make a, an ink decision because I like inks. I like so many inks. So, okay. And then, at last, I chose eight. And what I have for you there is I have the little swatches. I'll show you the eight that I chose. And some of them were, you know... That had been around a while and some had just come in the door and some I'll have to go back and knock off of our um, viewers choice voting because I just you know I, I just wanted to see them so okay let's go through the panels first let's see I think I'm gonna use this to hold them up so uh, like I said the first seven days will be these and these are the sailor inks if you remember um, this was ink flight 29 so that's June of 2019, and we've got all these beautiful colors. And this is sort of like a price of prosperity kind of thing, you know, ending up with samples that I haven't tried because I have so many. I feel so rich and, uh, you know, showered with ink, which is wonderful. But we've got this light blue, then we have another bright blue, and this gorgeous uh, green. And then this one, I had two mils from this ink flight and a, a really good pen friend sent me another sample so I've got lots of that and I, that's going to be really fun to work with and then grenade which is like wow a blasting red ink apricot and um the bright red here which I can't really pronounce I'll be looking into that so that's the first seven and then the next group would be eight which I'll just keep going each day I'll ink up my serendipity and I'm not sure even if I'm going to stick with the broad nib I may use a medium nib those are the details I have to work out within the next uh, three weeks so I've, I've got to get on the stick because decision making is can be tough <laughs> so this was um ink flight 30 which was July 2019 we got a bright sapphire we got another beautiful green look at that those would actually be comparable to each other so that's that's always interesting too to me and then this one oh this one had a lot of interest in the viewers choice voting but it didn't quite make it you know high enough to to win sad stormy Swedish sea 
And then this darker, like a blue-black that was t titled literally the only serious color in the batch or something. Then we have our bleep sapia, keeping this channel, uh, you know, friendly, <laughs> kid friendly and everything. Ultramarine, which is a kind of a blue, real pretty. This happy accident lilac is, is like a reason to, yeah, it's a reason to, whoops, I spit on my panel. That is not cool because water affects these inks and we know that here. This is just a beautiful looking complex, uh, you know, blue purpley. And then uh, the Bougainvillea purple. Oh my goodness, that's pretty down in the bottom corner there. Okay, so next I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to go out of order because I want to show you the ink flight last because that's kind of exciting. So let me just show you um, the, the eight that I chose real quick if, if there is such a thing. Sometimes I get too chatty, but and I have them organized in these little super stackers, which I absolutely love. But let's use this one just as a platform. So I'm going to do J. Arbonne Ancre Classic Turquoise. And then I'm going to do the Birmingham Philander C. Knox Old Glory Blue. Goodness, I got stuff everywhere. Oh, Birmingham Gerbana, Ger Gerber, Gerbera Pink. I'm not sure. I should have looked into that first. Um, and then the Robert Oster Netherlands Erst. Oh, gosh, you know how that came in the door. I got chosen on something on Instagram that I wasn't even entered for. It was just if you followed both accounts... And I, I got super lucky and I was sent that to ink and I did a little little bit of a uh, video on that. What am I trying to say? Okay, let me use the top of this one too. That should give us another space. Okay, then I'm going to do um, J. Arbonne Lee de Tay. Okay, and thank you to the pen friend who helped me pronounce that. Diamine Soft Mint. I want to give that some real attention too. Oh, yes. Birmingham Golden Gazette. I've been really clamoring. But you see, I get projects going and series going and other things happening. And, and it's like, hey, how come I haven't done that one? Oh, and this one I've had a long time. This is actually, just as a note of interest, this it's a tradition for me now. I, I want to do on the very last day of September an orange because then we're going into the orange month, the pumpkin month of uh, October. So that was my kind of reasoning there. But uh, so those are the eight I chose. Now for the next part of the video, I thought I would show you what was in Ink Flight 30 and, um, and we'll go from there, okay? Let's see here. Yeah, I want these back in there because then I could stay. I just, I had a couple of uh, accidents where I used ink before I reviewed it and I don't wanna do that. So I'm keeping those separate. Okay, so in our Ink Flight 31, oh my goodness, just amazing. It ended up being Colorverse. And I'm going to just read this because the color, the tops of the colors are colored and I do have a panel, so stick around. I'll show you the panel in a minute. Um, it says, welcome ink travelers. We're taking a trip to Mars with this month's Colorverse Ink Flight. Made in South Korea, each ink in Season 5 is made with high purity raw materials with a carefully optimized pH level. This flight contains one of each of the five main colors in the season, as well as one from season four's trailblazer in space. The seventh color is an alternate ending containing a randomly selected ink that is usually paired with a larger bottle. Okay, so if, you, if you've been around, you may have seen, I did purchase one bottle one set of the gravity of the uh, Colorverse ink, which was Gravity Wave, and it came like this in this bottle, which had 65 mils, and then the little baby bottle, which has 15, and they're just sweet. And um, then I ended up obtaining some empty bottles uh, from a pen friend, and I discovered that you can mail ink in these, and they are quite good for that. You know, if you want to, you, you have to tighten it pretty tight. And uh, so anyway, th these are the beautiful bottles and the packaging is just amazing. But it is expensive ink and that's the only uh, time that I have actually purchased a whole, uh, you know, bottle. Uh, that Gravity Wave just w it still remains one of my very favorites. So we have the inks 
and I'll show you that panel in a minute, the seven inks. And then we have a magnet, Great Minds Ink Alike. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Let's see if there's anything said about it. Might. Oh, it just says for the bonus swag, place this Great Minds Ink Alike magnet on your fridge, car, or any place magnetic to show you're part of the inky community. All right. And then the uh, main uh, pen goodie was the Nebula. Well, I'm going to read it because it's the Colorverse Nebula Tamoy River Notebook. And I've been exploring this notebook. It's just amazing. Um, is this 200 pages? 100, okay, 100 sheets. But yeah, wow, that's a lot of Tamoy River paper. 52 gram white. And 52 is, you. if you know me, you know that's my favorite weight. So I was very excited about this, <clears throat> especially when I opened it up and discovered that it came with this uh, undersheet where you could do lining, dots, all kinds of neat stuff if you want to do your writing. And, and yes, I always do that when I'm writing a letter. I've actually sacrificed Claire Fontaine paper to put underneath. But isn't that nice? You could put it right under and then you can see. And uh, so the way I see it, I could use this as a notebook but I really probably will use it as pen pal paper because it's just so choice. I mean, it's just cool. And I would probably use this particular one, but it lays flat. So I think the sky's the limit. I haven't tried tearing a page out yet, but oh boy. So very, very nice. And it came with these planner stickers too, which I always love stickers. Actually it has ink. Oh, Colorverse, huh? Oh, well, of course that's their company, right? Nebula note. Very nice. Anyway, little coffee stickers, cat, um, ink bottles, ink drops, and pens. So this was really cool. Now let's look at the panel because that gives you the other seven inks I'll be doing in September. So um, here it is. Colorverse and it's uh, Ink Flight 31. We've got Map of Mars, which seems to be behaving fairly well considering the lighting <laughs> the one next to it seems to be mariner 4 how do i describe that the camera's bringing out sort of a purpley color that i don't see i see it like a really dark blue black and then dust storm that's amazing i can't wait to see that in the nib opportunity just screamed at me immediately i love that color and i can't wait to see what it compares with because in this house, I'm sure I have other inks that look just like it. But, you know, of course, we see a, a color and it's like, whoa, that's so gorgeous. It is. And then Martian. Okay, oh, that. Now, I think that actually is going to look beautiful in a nib. Like, it kind of makes me think of autumn oak or something. Or, I don't know. But I haven't pulled all those out because I just got one disaster, you know, cleaned up here. and <laughs> Or one, uh, it looked like a hurricane had struck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, then we've got this two greens last. See, I did it exactly in the order that they came. I would have probably spaced out the greens better. But I didn't want to have to make decisions. So that's what I get. Arabella. And then, oh, my, my alternate ending was Allen Hills uh, 84001. I'm thinking that might be a zip code, but I don't know anything about that yet. That's the beauty of getting into the ink journal and exploring the inks like last time. You know, I... <clears throat> I did the little mini exploration of of each ink that I was doing for um, 30 inks, 30 days. And uh, back then I wasn't doing it the same as I am now, which leads me to another point. I am going to have to decide, you know, uh, whether I'm going to do a daily video or, you know, kind of a recap video every three or four days, which seems a little more reasonable. We'll just have to see. I'm, I'm going to try to pre-plan it, though, because every decision I can make ahead of time will make it easier for me. But like I said, I'll be going through. Um, the Colorverse inks will actually show up in the third week, approximately, uh, on the 16th of September. Let's see if you can see that. So that's where they'll come into play. I just wanted to show them to you last so that I could uh, do the what was in the ink flight. So it would be Sailor, Straits Pen, Honest Ink, Colorverse, and then the assorted eight assortment there. You know, and I've, I realized, wow, I've got three Birminghams that I've been waiting to look at on there. And then uh, two Robert Austers, a, a Diamine, 
and a J. Harbon. So it just it's very typical inks that I want to see. Um, okay, so as far as what's next, I think I've pushed everything to a far zone, but here we go. I can reach it. Okay. What is actually next on the channel is that I'm doing uh, diamine. You would have th thought I would have looked that up by now. Tyrian purple. Okay, and there's the little swatch. Okay, so this is it for the Viewer's Choice 3 series. This will be next. And then the very last one um, after the purple one is finished will be uh, Ackerman number five, Dutch Masters, Israel's Zablu. Wow, that's pretty. That is gorgeous. And, you know, it. yes, it does kind of play tricks a little, but if I tilt it like that, it's looking more like itself. Sometimes if too much light gets on it, on that teal kind of color, it can wreak havoc. So I'll see you back here with this ink. And um, thank you for joining me. Now, I would like to hear in the comments whether you're going to try the 30 inks 30 days. It's so much fun. Uh, people typically... Um, come on Instagram and show pictures of their writing and their swatching and their exploration, however it is that they play with ink, because we're all different. Some of us like to, you know, squirt it on the paper. Some of us do little, you know, little visual journal stuff. And, and I do a lot of everything, pen pal writing and, and um, painting with the inks and you name it. <clears throat> so I'll be really interested to see how many of you are going to just put your hand in a, in a box or if you're going to choose your inks ahead. And I just find I have to make the choices ahead so that I don't sit at the desk and spend an hour choosing my ink. And then like, yeah, uh, there's so much else going on. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse at all the colors that I'm going to explore in September. There's quite a bit between now and then, but three weeks does go fast. So I thought I'm going to share what I'm up to here. So that anybody that wants to follow along or wants to do this too can start thinking about it early. And I'm hoping, I'm, I'm super hoping that the that Ink Journal will do that just like they did last year. Because then everybody, it's fun to follow the hashtag. Um, if you follow that hashtag, you can see what everybody's doing. So I think now I'm rambling. I'll see you next time. And uh, just have a great weekend. Bye for now.